Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to insert records into a table, a MySQL table, uh, using PHP MyAdmin. So what I've got here is a table that I've called News, and it has four fields: News ID, which is the primary key, and it's also set uh, to auto increment. Uh, I have headline, author, and article, which are all just going to be uh, text fields. So um, in PHP MyAdmin um, there is a link towards the top here for insert. Now if you click on insert it will take you to this field or this page here and on that right hand column there is where you can enter the data. So this is a good way of just I guess setting up some data initially if um, you want to learn how to use databases. It can be very slow uh, if you're wanting to enter a lot of data, if you do want to do that, then I'd suggest um, you import it um, in, from a text text uh, document or um, an SQL document. So anyway, um, what we're going to do though to start with is we're going to insert it using this interface. So I'm just going to click on the news ID, and as this is the first record, I'll give it an ID of one. The headline, uh, I'll call it something really exciting, like my first article uh, the author is me and I'll just put some dummy text in here here is my very first record in the table now I'll uh, come down to the second one now if, if you want sorry before I do if you wanted to enter just that one record you could click on this go button here if however you want to enter two, you can fill out this and then hit go down the bottom. So I'll give this an ID of two because it's the second item. Uh, the headline is how about those MySQL databases. And I'll give it a different author this time. I'll um, give it Mr. Clark. And um, the article says, aren't they great? to love those databases. So we've got two articles now, very short obviously, uh, two articles set up and down the bottom here I have the option of clicking go and that you can see there it has go back to previous page um, so when I click go it will return to the uh, news table or in the drop down I could select insert another row which would then empty those two fields, two um, records above and allow me to continue entering. Uh, in this case I only want two so I'm just going to click on go and what PHP MyAdmin does is it generates the SQL and you can see here it says insert into gives me the database, the table, the name of the fields and then the values to insert into it and again later when we come to uh, begin making our own websites uh, we're going to be generating those SQL queries ourselves using PHP so uh, anyway, that's a, a very quick intro into how you might insert some records into a MySQL table.